What's going on, church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day. So me and my sister was having a random conversation about when we first got our license. So I got my license in Greenville, North Carolina, and she had to get her license in Columbia, South Carolina. Now in Greenville, you don't have to parallel park, but in South Carolina, she had to parallel park. So that was an area in her driving skills that she didn't quite know how to do because she didn't practice for it. You know what I'm saying? So when it was time for her to do the parallel park, she got a little nervous. So she prayed to the Heavenly Father and she let go of the wheel. And the moment she let go of the wheel, the car started parallel parking by itself. And that's how she passed the test. So when she was telling me this, it was one part of the conversation that stood out to me. When you let go. When you let go of the will. That's how you pass the test. Because when God take control over your life, what used to be impossible becomes possible. Sometimes we try to hold on too tightly. When the Heavenly Father is saying, let go. Surrender. Submit. So you can acknowledge God in all your ways. And he shall direct your path. So today I'm asking, do you trust the Heavenly Father? Do you trust that he will make the crooked path straight? He will bring restoration, deliverance in your life. When you leave everything in his hands, because sometimes we are afraid to do stuff because we think from our own intellect of what we feel like we are capable of. But sometimes the heavenly father might call you to something that he knows impossible for you to complete. Like for example, when Lord Jesus was walking on water and Peter saw him from a distance and he asked him, can I step on the water with you? Now this is something physically impossible for Peter to do because if he didn't see Lord Jesus doing it, he wouldn't have never thought he can do it. But because he saw Lord Jesus do it, there was a glimmer of hope in him believing that he can do it as well. But when he got on the water, he started looking around because the wind was blowing and it was a storm and it was rocking the boat. And when he started looking around, he started sinking to the bottom. See, that's a representation that if we don't let go of the will so we can live in the will of Lord Jesus, so we can live in the will of the Heavenly Father, so we can bring glory to his name when we let go. That's what makes the impossible possible. But if we don't let go, the fear will keep us from stepping into our purpose. See, the words say in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. See, we don't have to worry. God will uphold you. God will lead you by the right hand of his righteousness. So when we put all of our trust in him, when it comes down to life circumstances, God said he has already provided a way for you. But all you got to do is believe. Believe only. So that's why today I pray that the Heavenly Father help us with our unbelief. Help us get through those challenging moments. Help us pass through uncharted waters. Help us believe so we don't be deceived by what we see. As we continue to walk by faith, not by sight. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that you are a way maker. For you said it in the word. That we should cast our cares upon you. Because it's through you and your love that removes the weight off our shoulders. When we feel like this life is getting too hard to bear. Dear Heavenly Father, teach me 
how to let go of my own will so that I can live in your will only. Because doing your will has done more for my life than anything that I have ever tried to do on my own. May you provide light when life seems to be growing dim. May you help us escape from the darkness that an enemy tries to submerge us with when it comes down to life situations. Dear Heavenly Father, I desire to please you. I want to let go so that I may live more in your promises. I believe you today, dear Heavenly Father. Override my way of thinking so I may lean toward your understanding and not my own because your thoughts are higher than mine. You have the perfect plan for my life. Today, I choose to trust that plan, dear Heavenly Father. May the individual that sees this video gain more clarity, wisdom, and understanding as they travel this path of righteousness, as they deny themselves so they may pick up their cross daily and follow Lord Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and life. His way leads to understanding. But our ways leads to destruction, misery, chaos, depression, anxiety. That's what I desire to let go, dear Heavenly Father. May you help me remove the old man so that I may become a new creature in Christ. I desire to find new identity in you. So, dear Heavenly Father, let your will be done and not mine. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you.